Hey, what's going on? Look who's up and running. Well, right now I'd be happy just to live my own life. Should I ask? Really? Mom is making decisions for me. Well, yeah, she seems to have total amnesia that I'm 18 and can make them for myself. Well, there's some things about your mother that never change. And you're so laissez-faire with your hands-off style of parenting? Well, we won't, we won't get into that right now. So let's just think about it. How great it is that you're up and running. You feeling good? Yeah. I just get tired really easily, but doctor says it's normal. Okay, now that it's over, I will admit that I was worried. Because if I had lost you, I don't know what I would have done. Maybe that's just a little dramatic. No, I mean it. I mean, it. at this point, you know, the kids are pretty much all I got left. And you guys mean a lot to me. And Kate actually paid me a call. Alexis will agree with this. There's, there's nothing worse than seeing your kid in pain, and there's no more joy than seeing your kid happy. There's more about the fights we have. I wouldn't fight with you if I didn't love you. <laughs> I'll try to remember that the next time you freak at how I'm dressed. Good one. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. I I gotta take this. When when you become a parent, like let's say, like 20 years from now, you will understand what I'm talking about. Sounds like a cop out. There is uh, being a parent is difficult, but the the love you have for your kids, you don't understand until you you have kids. You do anything for your kids. You, Kill for your kids, and die for your kids. Let's not go there. I mean, not kill in the killing sense, you know. I know you love me, Dad. When I see you and your brothers, it makes me think like there's nothing else in life, you know. That I made these these children, and then now they're growing up and they're in the world, and you're like my little miracle because you know uh, you're the only good and true thing in my life. I mean, because I'm very proud, you know, that you're my daughter. And I know your mom feels the same way. The one thing you and mom have in common. Well, I'll, I'll always be connected to my kids' mothers because of what we share. I'm glad for that you're not mad at me anymore because that was like... Yeah. Well, I would be, but it's kind of a waste of time when I have so much to look forward to. Well, I'm grateful for that. Grateful enough to work on mom for me? What do you need? Make her understand that it's not the end of the world if I go into fashion instead of law. Right. And then maybe I can have her work on you. What do you need to ask her for about me? Letting me spend time with Ethan. Okay, let me explain something. You're starting college, right? A lot of guys there. Don't just sit on one, because you, you might meet another okay, guy. Okay, so you know who is just on this phone? What? It was admissions. And uh, they were supposed to contact you in the summer, but the wires got crossed. Yeah, Mom, what is it? You're going to Yale. You got accepted. They just told me. You're going to Yale. <laughs>